Hello again and welcome back. It's Thursday, which means it is time for my next crochet design challenge where I take an idea and I show you how I get from concept through to the finished piece. Okay, so this week Father's Day is coming up. Now, by the time this actually gets uploaded, it will have just passed. So basically I decided I was going to make him a tractor. Let's get into it. And I've already sort of whipped up a cute little concept sketch here for what it is that I'm aiming for. Yeah, so I'm basically going to show you the design and then I'm going to come back with the pieces and then I'll, I'll show the construction. Let's get into it because there are just a lot of pieces involved here. So let's just see if I can get them all on my first try. So basically with something like this, it is, it's not any different from, from breaking down any, any other design. You just want to like, it, there's a lot more in something like this with a lot of like angles and sharp corners, but you can still sort of break it down into the shapes that it's made out of. All right, folks, I'm not going to lie. This project drove me a little crazy. So I thought I'm just going to spare you as much of this as I can and just say I mapped out all the pieces I thought I would need. And then I made them. Where's my supervisor? There he is. Okay, supervisor. So basically because I uh, failed to account for several important space requirements in this design, I have to try and make sure these wheels are as close to the front as possible. And luckily enough, that is exactly how I sketched it. So I can uh, go ahead and pretend that that's on purpose. I might just go through and tuck these little ends in, though they're going to be slightly more visible than I thought they were going to be. So they not only have to be as close to the front as possible, but they actually have to be as far down as I can realistically make them to account for how large and out of proportion I made the back wheels. It's going to look good at the end, so help me it will. Okay, so as usual with a project like this, we have hit a couple of roadblocks, so I quickly just pinned most of it together. And not only have I not made this base piece long enough, but I've completely forgotten to put interior walls. <laughs> on the inside of the tractor. Uh, so we're going to be making a few sort of on the fly adjustments. We've got a few extra pieces that have been whipped up real quick to try and sort of, you know, <laughs> make up for it. <laughs> we're working on a very tight deadline right now. Uh, I've got maybe two hours left to finish this thing. And um, yeah, wish me, wish me luck. <laughs> Just a sneaky little, uh, extension on the base there. I won't tell if you won't. I'm trying to work out the order in which to assemble this. It's the world's worst puzzle. This is, I don't know, kind of awful-tastic. We can just poke that through. <laughs> Okay, so the conundrum I'm currently facing is I need the chair to be a certain distance back, but uh, I need the farmer to be able to reach the wheel. So we're just gonna fasten this hand to the steering wheel so I know the distance. Well, you, can, you can apparently stand at the steering wheel, that's great. And we're gonna wish we could go back in time and um, think and plan this a little, a little better. Not a, not a lot. We're still going to force it to work out. Crochet is very, very forgiving, as I'm sure you all know, and you can kind of mush it into whatever kind of shape you need it to be. Just get these very finger-tippy tips on the edge of that steering wheel. Just park your keys to Meester. There we go. We are making very slow, slow progress. Okay, that's just, that looks meaner than it is, okay? That's not, it's fine. They might need some wire supports. They might just need to be taller, but let's just see if I can't get away with it because I'm feeling very lazy and very, very short on time. Dad, if you're watching this, I promise I put the proper amount of care and love into this. 
Okay, that actually looks really good. <laughs> Look at that. I am knocking things over. Goodness, you're a frustrating little thing, aren't you? Just force you into your chair, okay? Eh. This is not a voodoo doll. He is fine. Oh, no, I can't. I can't. Oh, I can't. I can't bring myself to do that. Um, how about we do this instead? <laughs> For some reason, it feels less awful than just pinning you through the chest. Well, that's not bad at all. And then we attach the wheels. Well, I'll be blowed. That looks damn near like a tractor. And then with the wheel rims as well. Very tractory indeed. Okay. Those are too big. This has to be the most frustrating project I have ever worked on. <laughs> That's what I mean when I say we'll make it work. Because uh, I just shortened that piece of crochet and it will forgive me. Just tuck those little ends in. It'll be our little secret. It's our new little wheel rim. Oh boy, this is putting up a hell of a fight. I might have to swap to my... Why am I using the plastic one for this? Where's my big strong metal boy? There he is. Come, save the day. Mangled, <laughs> I think is the best way to describe it. We've started leaning, have we? Oh, I give up trying to keep track of what's all the things that are going on with this thing. We're doing our best. That is all anyone can ask of anyone. We're going to fold it down again, and we're going to loop this over again. And we'll use the metal boy again. All right, the front of this little demon is officially done. Remind me not to do any more farm machinery for a while. This just reminds me of the time I did the, um, God, it was years ago, Sylveon. It's, an, it's a Pokemon with lots of frills and ribbons, and uh, I wrote that pattern down. Never again. Turns out bows are very, very irritating, and it turns out this tractor just made the no-fly list because I am sick of attaching pieces and we're only about halfway done. Oh, it just keeps getting wonkier though. I just want it to be good. Really glad I put that pop stick in. Pop, pop, sickle stick? Pop, pop stick? Pop stick. What are those called again? Popsicle sticks? Pop sticks? Is pop sticks okay? Is pop stick pop? Pop. Oh, I might have been at this just slightly too long. I think I'm starting to lose it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Dad. Oh, that one felt bad. <laughs> Sit down, sir. You keep trying to leave your seat. Let's see if one of these hooky boys can, can do the job. I'm only sewing through the shirt if anyone's interested. I'm not sewing through him. At least that's what I'm telling myself. So yeah, it is currently 9.22. And uh, I have to leave for work at 7 a.m. in the morning. And then as soon as I get home, I'm off to the farm for Father's Day weekend. So that is why we are it's such a time crunch that we didn't bother to measure anything. <laughs> Giving him separate legs. I shouldn't have bothered. He should have just been a mermaid. Mermaid farmer. Merman? Might be time to put the hooks away. Ah! 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 <laughs> oh, there is no escape now, friend. What are you caught on? Ah! Save me! Save me from the mad woman! She stuck pins in me! Oh, that's dark. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so it's not a very accurate tractor, but the love is there. Realistically, this bit here should actually be up here, because the cab is... Up here, not down. I don't know why I've made it down here. Oh dear. I'll just pretend it's one of those real old timey tractors. I don't even know what this looks like from above. I don't know what you're, you guys are seeing. Okay. Well, the view I'm seeing it from is, well, I'll just take you down there and have a little look. Okay. Ah, uh, so this is, oh, we're getting tangled. This is what I'm seeing at the moment. So what I'm seeing probably makes a little more sense than what you guys are seeing. Okay, so let's see, lessons from this project. Well, the big one would be, um, with this many pieces, I should have been attaching as I went, because then anything missing or the wrong size would have been immediately a pa Oh God, I forgot to check the wheel rim. Ah, oh, no. Okay, it's not something we can't fix. At least, I, at least it wasn't around the wrong way. All right. 
was so happy with that positioning too. Okay, so that needs to be down like that. There's just so many ways that this project could have been made a little bit easier, you know, and I didn't do any of them. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> that was... Things that I've learned from this project. Well, uh, check that things are around the right way before you start sewing. It's a big one. Uh, it's me preaching about always pinning correctly first and double checking your pinning before you start sewing and then I sew the wheel on around the wrong way. Yeah, that sounds like me. Um, yeah, but what I was saying was sewing as you go. Attaching the pieces as I went would have could have potentially made this project a lot less painful. And the other thing I learned is that if you're going to try something like this, make sure it's for someone you really, really love because the urge to quit is very high, very strong. Stronger than most things. If I was just doing it for you guys, I'd cancel this video and make a narwhal instead. <laughs> you know what? Next year I'll buy him some socks. It'll be fine as long as he doesn't like pick it up and turn it over, I think. As long as he doesn't want to look underneath it, we'll be fine. What I might have to do is just take it home and just put it in the china cabinet and be like, Hey Dad, that's your present. Don't touch it, it might dissolve. Is uh, for looking only. I can't get in there. Oh, this is so frustrating. How did that get so firmly attached? Okay, we are discarding this piece of wool. This piece of wool is officially jinxed. Oh, wait. New, fresh, unjinxed yarn. Okay. That type of thing, touching the type of thing. And that to be at the top, like so. Let's just fill it with pins until it's a hazard. Why? Why are you like this? Just like, if it doesn't work on this time around, it's just not going to work. And I need to walk away. If this doesn't work, I'm quitting and I'm setting it on fire. You know what? It's good enough. Look at this! I've bent the needle! How does that even happen? Alrighty, we really are at the final hurdles now. I don't know how it's going to survive the trip. <laughs> but, uh, we will do our best to ensure that it does because I'm not making another one. I'm not making another one. It is really good to, like, stretch yourself every now and then though I reckon instead of just like oh yeah I'm gonna make a ball with a twist and a curve and a thing and just like they, oh, ball, all balls twists and curves and things are the same it's like something like this oh I might try I'm I want to try doing more geometrical things I think because as frustrating as I find it it's also pretty rewarding as well and like the only way to get better at something is to practice and so like there might be a few more like robots or machines in my future here a few more technical pieces and last but not least, we're going to put the roof on. This has been, oh, oh, wait. First I should attach his hand to the steering wheel. Okay, we're going to pull a few little cheats here and there, okay? So we've got this little bit of florist wire, right? You know those pointy hairpins that you can just, like, slide in? Well, we're just going to make a little staple so I don't have to try and stitch that in place because I do not feel like trying to stitch that in place right now. And we're just going to break that through. My god, sewing might have been easier. There we go. Okay, there we are. And his hand is now attached to the steering wheel. Just as an added little thing, it wouldn't be Father's Day unless he was dead. At this point, I think all you'd be able to see is <laughs> the light grey square I'm working on, but uh, I assure you the view is far more interesting from down here. I should have adjusted the camera angle, but I don't know if you're aware of this, but all of my videos are shot entirely on my mobile phone, so I only can ever capture one angle at a time. And there we are. All right, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. I do put out videos every Thursday and I would hate for you to miss one. If you enjoyed this, please think about hitting the like button. It really means a lot to me. Leave a comment down below about the project that has driven you the most nuts. All right, I will see you next week. Bye.